everybody, it's Cody, Dixon RC here. So you want to see the internals of the FMS Mashkin before you purchase it? Well, you come to the right place. Or if you've already purchased it, you may want to watch this because I guarantee you're probably going to want to see what's inside here before you get this thing uh, in in your hands. Um, I will say, starting out the beginning, with, I have pulled one diff cover off of this thing and there is zero grease on the gears. So... Keep that in mind when you're purchasing. Please buy some gear grease. I said that on the unboxing video as well. But uh, you really, really need grease. Uh, these uh, these things are grenade. I'm sure they're not the greatest metal in the world in the first place. So anything you can do to prolong them living life great is probably a good thing to do. So what we're going to do today is look at the internals of the transmission, transfer case, and both axles. I'm going to take the wheels off. We're going to look and see what's in them. If they need grease, I'm going to go ahead and grease them, put it back together. I am not going to show you how to take this apart. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's two bolts on the motor that takes the whole thing off. Uh, the transfer case is four bolts that hold it to the skid, and there's three that holds the whole transfer case together. Axles are a little bit more in depth there's links and you gotta take the wheels off the steering off things like that it's not super bad but it's not something i'm going to spend a lot of time showing you how to do if you would like to see that uh by all means please say something and i'll do my best to make that happen i can do an in-depth taking things apart just don't want to put out a 30 minute video i mean that's really not worth doing anything anyway so hang tight and we'll swing you around and then i'll have everything apart and we'll get to it so I got all this stuff apart. I uh, took the axles off, the transfer case out, and the, the motor plate, I guess. This is a gear reduction unit, so the motor goes in here. It gear reducts it down to come through here. There is a slipper spring, so I think it's got some kind of slipper plate in it as well. We'll get to that later. I'm going to do these axles first. So this is the front axle. It does have, like I said, metal links. It does have a nice little thing, so you can get a little bit of turn radius out of it does have a pretty beefy shaft on the end here uh, it is a metal CV um, so that's good a CVD uh, it is a solid one-piece pinion that does not have a five millimeter uh, hole like normal drive shafts have a five millimeter hole uh, let me find a drive shaft pin so here's a normal drive shaft pin uh, this is rather I think this is a rather small one this is the full three mil one um, it, this does not go in there um, and when you know you'll know that because when you pull theirs apart you can see they've shaved it down to fit their outputs uh, it's like that all five of them are like this six of them actually because there's one in the, the transmission as well every drive shaft has that as well but don't fret because that doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem the best thing is um, this thing will take uh, Boom Racing's 101 to 135 drive shafts, and you can use reuse your pins that are in this truck already. They will fit on these perfectly because it's still a three mil hole, so it'll still work. So that fits both of those. I have not measured to see what it is from the motor to the transfer case. I'll get to that later. But so what I'm gonna do here first is I'm going to remove this uh, diff cover to show you guys the inside of it that it is a full spool and everything else. I'm hoping what I said in the beginning was that the diff gears were not greased. I'm hoping it's just a fluke that that one wasn't done. But we shall see and it's not there is not a lick of grease on this at all and you hear how that sounds already. Not great. Now it's also because there's no drive shaft on. Drive shaft kind of does pull it but um that doesn't sound that doesn't sound too too promising does it so we're going to I'm not going to take anything else apart um, it does have a sealed bearing but it is not a rubber sealed bearing so we'll have to get Jim on a set of bearings for this thing because uh, I for sure want to put a set of bearings in it instead of having the those they're they're sealed but they're not rubber sealed that's the difference so all right so I'll grab a can of my Jim's bearings grease going to grease these gears up real quick these are my nice pretty little this is a makeup spatula actually I think what they call it do that just I'm going a little overboard on this but mainly because I don't 
there's nothing in it, so I want it to have a decent amount. That's about what you want. You want to have a good, nice fixture or a nice smear of it all over everything. I'm going to put this cap back on. Cap does only go on one way. There's four one half millimeter screws that hold it on. Let's do the same thing to the rear. Again, no grease. Figures. Didn't expect it to have any. I think this is the one I checked earlier anyway. So. And that's it. Put grease in it. Make sure it's coated all the way around. Alright, now that we're done with the axles, let's go ahead and do the transfer case. I have a feeling that uh, this is not going to have any grease in it as well. I'm going to take it apart using the Alright, so it should just pull apart. Yep, pulls apart. No grease. None whatsoever. Man, that's sad. It's terrible. Alright, let's do I'll leave. So this one is a shaft. It has a pin in the bottom, so you gotta make sure that it stays level. This one is a solid one piece unit. Um that has like a spool, kind of like the old 10-2s. Uh, there is a little bit of movement in there. It's kind of weird. Anyway, that's like the old SEX-10 had the spool in it that goes to the out drives. So what I'm gonna do is just grease this up. So you do this, put it a little heavy so it will transfer to the other gear easy enough. All right, so it goes in this little piece here. The washer goes into this side here. I was afraid I was doing that wrong. All right, make sure all the grease is going to the other gear. It is. We're going to get grease everywhere, but it'll be fine. That's what you want, especially on this transfer case. You want it to be greased. See? It goes right back together. All right, so the transfer case is done. I do not have a good feeling about this uh, motor setup. I'm sure it's not done or doesn't have any grease in it. I'm positive it doesn't. This one has another one of those cut down shafts as well. So this one does have a slipper spring, you know, your tighten down spring. That is not a seven mil. What is it then? So this thing has a eight millimeter nut on the end of it right here. Uh, luckily I still have all my automotive tools, so we're gonna use that. Now, getting this off is probably not gonna be that fun, but I bet if we do, that's not gonna fit in there, is it? Nope. Hmm. It's only gonna go so far though because that, it's gonna touch that, so it's kinda strange. I have is to grab this thing with a pair of pliers. Just hope it don't strip. Just gotta remember when I go to take this thing apart, that's what I gotta do. <laughs> or put it back together. Well, by looking at that, you'd think there'd be grease in it because there's grease on the screw, but I'm betting 
Yeah, probably not. Let's hope there is. There is. It looks like we got something in it anyway. I don't quite know what, but something. Alright, not really grease. More like um, just some sort of liquid. And probably like some sort of grease, but not like thick grease. So if you look inside there, there's screw there's some gears inside there. There is grease on those. Let's shine it up to see if you can see in there. Mm, yeah, see it. You can see grease. Yeah. I still don't really know if I want to find out or take it apart or not. So there's our slipper plate and everything. Um, pretty cool little simple little deal, I guess. I don't really know. We'll see if it works or holds up. Let's take this plate off here and see the inside of it. The thing about it is if you want to change the motor in this thing, it shouldn't be that hard to do. So what I'm guessing is whoever manufactured this, this, oh, there it is. Yeah, see, it's got that white lithium style grease in here. Not really going to be what we want. I'm going to add some of this grease into it just because I want this grease in it. Putting it back together is going to be fun because I forget to put these screws back. All right, back together, Got full grease in it. That's what we wanted. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, me taking and showing you the way to take all these thing, things apart to put grease in it. Uh, for sure a good idea if you buy this truck to buy some grease. It does not have grease in the axles or the transfer case. I don't know if that was a mistake, like they all should have it, um, but mine just maybe didn't, like it didn't quality control just didn't catch it or if there's even any quality control whatsoever I don't know but I just wanted you guys to know what how this stuff comes like this I guess you can't have it all for $329 so I guess that's one bad thing um, you just can't have all the good stuff for that for that amount of money I suppose so I don't know but uh, keep watching everybody I'm going to do some more I'm probably going to do upgrades on this I'm probably going to put a fusion in it because the fusion will work in this there's plenty of room between that and the servo 
put a different servo in it, probably put a GT5 in it and put more lights in it, probably put LEDs in the turn signals and in the tail lights because there's buckets for it. Do all that and try and hide away some of this stuff, um, uh, other things like that. Um, and then I'm also going to have a battery or a battery comparison kind of deal for this as well. This battery tray in this truck is not very big. Uh, and it does not come with battery straps either, so I don't really know what the deal is with that. But anyway, and then we'll probably do a size comparison against <clears throat> other trucks. Uh, the TF2, the G-Made, the Trail Warrior, the Gen 8. Um, I've got a BRX01, the MST Discovery. We'll just put them all side by side and you get to see the size differences between them. So stay tuned and thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.